Wollongong is a beautiful place. I live near rainforest. I live far from the rat race. I live in the suburbs, north of and south of the city. In the city. I, I kept remembering about an article I read where Australians had written about 2,000 letters of encouragement and support to the asylum seekers on Nauru, which had been sent there over a couple of years. What had made the news in 2015 was that they were all sent back together, unopened and undelivered. You're so far from your home, is so far from here. I'm sorry, you're in Nauru. This piece came about because I was writing a piece called Hidden Thoughts, which is based on the anonymous hidden thoughts of women. I enjoyed that process so much, I was inclined to think what else I could do. Katie and I have been friends for a long time and she had this idea about the project with the letters and we're just lucky that Julian Burnside is chair of our board, so we actually had access to them. At the moment, winter is approaching. I've been involved in the refugee issue for quite a long time, and one thing became clear, which is that a lot of Australians were more able to respond to individual refugees than to the whole idea of refugees. But we can't. I managed to get hold of a list of all the refugees held on Manus and on Nauru, and um, I simply encourage people to write letters to refugees, send them to me and I would then send them on. It's been very good for the garden, especially as we've had some very dry years. What I was hoping was that it would give individual Australians the opportunity of making a meaningful contact with individual refugees so that they would stop classifying all refugees as the same. They would begin to see them as people. I love setting text and I like setting text that's not necessarily something that's designed to be sung. My political so I was finding that I was pulling out text from here and I quite like that quote here and gee isn't that one delightful that has to make it in. So there was a, there was a whole process that I had to go through about choosing which text made it in. It's always a thrill to work with a composer where the vision is sublimely clear. Marry anyone I choose. The moments where the string instruments need to mimic the voice or the voice comes in on top of the instruments, that kind of synchronicity, it's quite magical. That's the kind of thing that we look for in music all the time, the natural rhythm or the organic way of producing sound. On the west coast, in the far south, inland by a river, there's a creek at the back of our, our place. I live close to, far from, and nearby. The one earth we live on, that we all share. What's great about music is that it can cut through all the head and the chatter and go straight to the guts. Sometimes you can hear difficult things, difficult words through music that if that were spoken or said or yelled, you may not be able to hear. On the other side of that, the Pacific. I really hope that for the people that wrote the letters, this piece represents the outward expression of their willingness to welcome people that have had a very tough journey coming here. Here. But it's meaningful to me to be able to have other people's letters brought forward into the public space. My hope is that the people who should have received the letters get to hear it. the far side of the river, I look outside. There are some clouds in the sky. I wonder what sky you are looking up at. It took me a few years, but I came across the idea that if you keep on trying, you might just, you might just succeed. But if you give up, you will certainly not succeed. So I just keep on going in the hope 
that it will make a difference.